Hey you guys, what's up? I'm back for another video. As you can read from the title, I will be doing a feminine hygiene plus body care video. So I'll be showing you guys everything I use to keep the JJ smelling good and everything I use just to smell good in general. I'm going to start with body care just because that's a little easier and I'm going to add some tips in with the feminine hygiene part. So stay tuned for that if you would love to know. So the first thing I'm going to start with body care is what I use to wash my body. So I use the Aquaphor Baby Wash and Shampoo. And this is just because my skin is super sensitive. So this is what I use regularly. Like, and I had to get a new bottle because I ran out. But I use this regularly because my skin is very sensitive, like I said. And I suffer from eczema. So like, if I use something with a certain type of fragrance, because I know I'm allergic to fragrance, but we don't know what specific type because they don't really list what type of fragrance is in the bottle on bottles. So basically, I just use this because it's fragrance free, paraben free, and it works well for me. I also really love their chapstick. So when I really want to smell good, say I'm getting ready for a date or something, I will use the Hand in Hand Body Wash. And this is in Cactus Blossom. This is super cute. I got this from Whole Foods. I absolutely fell in love with the bottle and it smells so good, you guys. Like this will literally have your shower like your whole entire shower smelling good as for my lotion or oils body oils that i use for my very sensitive eczema prone skin i do actually use grapeseed oil and you can use like grapeseed oil uh coconut oil personally does like irritate my skin that could work for you guys but i like to use grapeseed oil because it's very light um and back to something with fragrance, something that I use for fragrance that doesn't break me out and has me smelling really good is the Je Adore, Je Adore, sorry, Dior. You guys, this, I got this at Dillard's and it smells so good. I wanted to get their body milk because I love the consistency, but this works as well. This is their body cream for perfumes. I use the Magnolia Violet. I got this from Target. Isn't the packaging absolutely beautiful? They have such pretty packaging. Let me go ahead and show you guys what the actual body looks like. So the bottle has this beautiful flower print. So pretty and I love the purple. It's so cute. Their packaging is always so beautiful. I had their, I, had, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was Queen Bee. I had that first and that's really nice too. I have a lot of their roll-ons for deodorant. I use the native deodorant. You guys, I don't know if I'm just naturally like my pitch just be stinking naturally or something, but I can never find a really good deodorant that really, really helps with my smell. This is the first deodorant that I have ever used where this completely helps with my smell. Like I don't ever get sweaty. I don't ever get a little stinky. Like normally, normally I be getting really, really sweaty like throughout the day and I have to like wipe and reapply like my deodorant. But this, I literally have to only reapply my deodorant once throughout the day. So that's really good. So highly, highly recommend that. Now for what I use to have my JJ smelling nice. So if you, so okay. When it's my cycle and I really, really need something to mask or like help with my odor, I do use this like a few days before my cycle. And what I do is I pour a small amount on my hands and I lather it up. So I rub it around my hands and I just like gently like rub my area like ex the external area you never want to rub it like in between or like actually on your vagina because that's really irritating it can mess up your pH balance it's really really bad you never want to rub soaps directly on your vagina never do that like just lather this like around the area on the outside and not a lot like let it let it just fall with the water and that's it like that's all you do you never want to scrub your vagina because it's really bad for your pH balance and everything your vagina cleans itself out it just happens naturally so don't ever worry about that 
your vagina smells like a vagina, like it's supposed to. Shouldn't be smelling like flowers, fruits, or anything like that. If a man or like anyone tries to tell you that it's supposed to, no, it's not. And you guys, discharge is very, very important to have. That means your vagina is having the, it's doing the work that it needs to do. So you know those trends where the girls would literally like post their like underwear with like nothing on it. You guys, that's really bad. Like your vagina is supposed to be cleaning itself out. It's supposed to be discharging. So. Just a heads up for some tips on if your vagina has kind of um, like a tainty smell. It could be because of what you're eating. When you start eating really, really bad, like it will like show throughout like your vagina and like it will have an odor to it, but everyone has a specific odor to them. So probably eat a little bit more healthier, eat more fruits, you know, all of that is really, really good. Um, cotton underwear really helps your vagina with like breathing and stuff so it's not just like collecting a whole bunch of sweat throughout the day another tip is when you wipe never wipe back to front always wipe front to back because that's just like the cleanest way to wipe yourself you don't want if you got doo-doo stains and shit you don't want to like wipe that in between your vagina lips you know what I'm saying and it's one thing not to wipe like to lather your vagina like internally with like soap and water but me personally I do we get a little graphic here I do like to wipe my my butt talks with soap and water because you know sometimes when you're wiping on the toilet you don't be wiping everything so you need to do so after sex if you're very sexually active you do want to go to the restroom and you want to clean yourself because if you don't that could make you prone to getting a UTI so always make sure you clean yourself during sex I mean sorry not during sex obviously after sex after masturbating after using the restroom all of that always clean yourself very important so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos, and I have a lot of new content coming out. So please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give me any feedback or anything you want to know. Give me a question down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.